This is uh, not awkward, but we're doing an interview, so <laughs> it's, it's just two buddies talking. So what prompted you to open in Plainfield, New Jersey? Yeah. A I get, coffee shop. The answer is really simple, man. Um, Plainfield's home. So, and then growing up, I spent my weekends, like literally from Friday after school till Sunday evening uh, in Plainfield, helping my parents in their businesses. Yeah. And yeah, so growing up, it was very much part of my, my story, my upbringing. Yeah, it was, it was a simple decision. Um, we were like, hey, you know what? Plainfield, Plainfield needed uh, a coffee roastery. So, uh, you know, one and one came together and uh, here we are. We will go to his warehouse <laughs> where they would collect uh, clothing and send it overseas for families in need. That's correct. Yeah. My, my dad was involved in a lot of the uh, those donation boxes that you see at the masjids, yeah. at the mosques. And um, yeah, basically anytime there was a humanitarian crisis, mm -hmm. that's where, um, you know, the, the clothing went, um, you know, to, to help people. So. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's important. You guys did an amazing job making this place, this small place, homey, yeah. and yet, comfortable to sit and relax and catch up on work. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, I guess that's how it's done, was like pour over coffee. Yeah, pour overs, It's yep. like science, it's like chemistry. It is, it is. Uh, it's, uh, this, I think that's why I love coffee so much, because everything from uh, <clears throat> the seed and the, 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 the farm mm -hmm. and the, the, the raising of these, these coffee plants, uh, all the way from harvesting, to roasting, to even brewing a cup of coffee, it's such a balance between uh, art and science. And mm -hmm. so I think th there's, you know, everyone always asks, oh, Maher, what, where's the best coffee from? Or what's your favorite cup? Uh, I think there is no best coffee. I think coffee is so wide and so deep um, that th there's like a little nook for everybody. Yeah. Um, it's such a subjective journey. And, you know, I'm always trying new coffees from mm -hmm. different parts of the world, different fermentation methods, mm -hmm. different roast profiles. Um, yeah, it's, it's like never ending, man. Maher Open in Plainfield, where the history is rich here. So we really try to encourage other business owners, other entrepreneurs, like, hey, like, look at Plainfield. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, from here, there's so much opportunity and it just needs, you know, those risk takers, those entrepreneurs yes. uh, to give it a shot and, and uh, it'll pay, it'll pay off. Mm -hmm. It really will. Hardworking people who's mm. come from all over the world yes. to settle in Plainfield. Yep including both our parents, yeah. you know, like my parents are immigrants, his parents are immigrants. They both met here in America. And, you know, when you come from a place where there's violence, you want to make the place where you raise children your own and make it a safer place. Of course. Now with the coffee shop, how long has it been since you opened? Yeah, uh, two years. Um, so we had September 2019 was sort of like our soft opening. Grand opening was, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, yeah, November 1st. And uh, yeah, we just actually had our two-year anniversary. Wow, last month, so. two years. Yeah. I mean, like what they say, it's like if you love doing it, you're never working, basically. Of course. And also, it's just you're giving back to the community, and it makes a big difference. The public understands and rewards those who work hard. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I saw it. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for our community, our customers, like, helping us through uh, the pandemic, we wouldn't we wouldn't be here, man. No. Um, you know, and I think I think the cool thing about Queen City is that we, we opened up, like, four months before the pandemic. Yeah, I remember, yeah. Um, and so, you know, the cool thing, though, is that we were able, we, like, we built a relationship really yeah. quickly with our customers. Yeah. Um, so if it wasn't for them, yeah, it was. It would have been a really a lot harder than, than yeah. what we went through. So it's these small businesses that keep community together and keep communities going. So if you're driving by, I highly recommend you guys come here, get a cup of coffee, take a photo of yourself, or the pour over. <laughs> you know, tag Queen City. Definitely. Because it's 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 home. Thanks, Maher, for taking the time. You know, I know you're a busy guy <laughs> with uh, work, owning your business, family, and yeah. also Bitcoin, if you guys are interested. <laughs> he has an app that basically will make you rich without you even knowing. <laughs> uh, there's a link I'll put on that too in the app store. What's it called, Maher? Uh, it's called Coinbits, coinbitsapp.com. 
that's a whole separate video that I would have to sit down and go over with you guys. Yeah, but, we're, uh, we're, we're fans of Bitcoin and we can't wait to accept it here at the shop. So oh, yeah, very okay. soon guys. And remember, Bitcoin goes up and down, but it hasn't gone down significantly in a while. So yeah, I always like to tell people that over the last 12 years, Bitcoin has tripled in price on average every year. <laughs> He's not wrong. Yeah, He's so. right. I remember him and his brother told me <clears throat> When Bitcoin was at 33, they said, yo, put some money in and just forget about it. <laughs> so I literally did that. And we can't thank him enough because we have almost a coin now. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's it's awesome. a lot of fun. But That's awesome. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Take care.